Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the first episode. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this, but it's my video log series. And right now it's 11.30 a.m. I was supposed to be up at 8.30 meeting a couple people to go kayak. And it's typical fashion. We're always fucking late. So I'm going to rally up and get my shit together. And we'll go do some kayaking. Hell yeah. A GoPro? You're the first one on my vlog. Congratulations. I started a video log. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna um, document my adventures and all that stuff. So we're, we're extremely late start of an adventure today? Yep, team late start. I'll put that right there. Like, team late start. Pop up there. Yeah. Packed up and ready to go. Let's roll, buddy. Whee! Sweet. Off to Wilson's Creek we go today. Um, just should be a fun, mellow run. No exhaust on the car. <laughs> Let's go. Kind of helps me put the e brake off. All right, Sunshine. So you're the first person on my vlog. And uh, you're about that vape life, huh? No. No? no. I'm about that vape you're life. You're about that vape life. So, I just enjoy it. You just enjoy it? Mm-hmm. All right, so what do you think about Wilson's Creek? Yeah, right. Amazing local run. Nice, easy, mellow. Lots of stuff to learn on. Practice things. This is a good spot to practice if you're ever a beginner kayaker or want to get out kayaking. I guess uh, after you learn to roll and stuff, you should go out to Wilson's and just get as many laps in as you can. That's kind of what we've done. What are we on, like 30 or 40 laps? Oh, easily. Easily, yeah. Well, it's a good spot to mess up and practice some fun stuff. So uh, we'll see you out there, guys. Bye. Give him a shout out. Bye, Mom. <laughs> In a hazy glow, my hands, your bones, no soap, we break the scene. One step deep as you fall to me. I clap, we skip a beat. Count one, two, three. And don't you stop the music, get into it. Won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it. You can do it. Won't you dance with me? Move your feet and feel it in the space between. You gotta give yourself a moment, let your body be. We 
Manned up to do the slide. Sunshine, what are your thoughts? Hopefully better than last time. Yeah. Do you last think time, last good, time I broke my seat. Yeah. Do you think good karma will ensue from this rock slide? I hope it does. I yeah. need as much good river karma as I can get. I've been using all mine up. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. We got some locals enjoying Wilson's Creek over here. Off the big rock. All right, so Sunshine here. He's gonna do the slide. He's getting ready to put that, uh, put it down. Uh, I'm about halfway, not even halfway. I'm about a quarter of the way down the slide. It's probably about a good hundred. I don't know, 80 feet at an angle. How high it is, I don't know. Like 20 or 30. It's pretty fast because it's wet today too. So we'll see how it goes. You ready to go? Count one, two, three. And don't you start the music. Won't you dance with me? Find the peace and lose it. Who can do it? Won't you dance with me? Move your feet and feel it. In the space between. You gotta give yourself a moment. Let your body be. getting in green ray shape. This is, it's August. Alright, so going for lap number three. Found Dennis Huntley and company. Got a ride in the back of a truck. Yeah. Sweet. We'll see you guys at the top for lap number three. Yeah. What's up guys? You're on my video log. I'm doing a, a kayaking oh, vlog. <laughs> How do you feel about Wilson's Creek? Well, 
like it. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? It didn't like me too good. You got yeah. what? Like five? You got a lot of boats no, in this truck. We have truck. more than five. <laughs> yeah. yeah we got One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you guys have fun on your second lap, All okay? Right. Thank you. So, you know how Boat Buster got its name. How did Boat Buster get its name? Well, back before there were plastic boats, we had to paddle it with fiberglass boats. Was that you, Dennis? Did yeah. they name it after you? Well, we, had, we did that rock down there and bust in fiberglass boats. You had to have a good line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, have a good lap, guys. We'll see you. All right. Bye, bye. bye guys. That was Dennis Huntley, the fossil. He was out here running this shit before, before bo plastic boats were even real, right? Actually, a true statement. True statement. So yeah, he's the one who probably named all. He has a rapid name after him. He has him. a rapid after him. He has first, uh, first descents of exploratory missions in Alaska. Yeah. So he's he's, he's a, a badass. He's a bad. How old is he? Like what? Seventy something. Seventy and still paddling. People. So me and Michael are on our way back to Charlotte now, and I'm thinking about going up to the green tomorrow. You got that on mine. What? You said all that on mine already. Oh yeah, I know, but <laughs> I'm going to say it again. So green tomorrow, most likely. I'm going to see if Corey Clark wants to join me, and we can do a splat lap of the green at 10 inches or whatever. Or bring creek boats and do a race lap. Who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens when we get up there. But um, in the market for a long boat right now, so I can enter the green race this year. I was supposed to do it last year, but some things were more important last year. So Nothing's green race more training, than kayaking. Green race training started. <laughs> yeah, today. Not, to, green race training should have started a while ago, but uh, we'll see how it goes this fall. Um, I don't know if I should go by the center or not. <laughs> but it is a good training ground for um, stamina. Stamina, right? Sta en endurance. Sta we, we have to pump you up. Stamina, yeah. Stamina, yeah. Do lots of laps, yeah. Don't never get out of your boat. Just keep paddling for like an hour and uh, build up some, some strength. Do I go right? Yeah. Okay, I haven't done this in a long time. Take a right. I've been... I've been on the green too much. I haven't been to anything else. So and then I know a couple buddies went to Linville Gorge uh, yesterday. I opted out of that because I didn't feel comfortable running 10 plus miles of scary undercut rapids like class 5 with plus. Yeah, class 5 plus with a whole bunch of undercuts. So hopefully I'll be out there one day. I just risk versus reward risk versus reward with my shoulder or whatever i think that it was a wise decision coming off that dislocation so hopefully i'll get out there in the fall i know i want to do raven fork this year when that starts running in the fall 